right, this is that same Ocotillo that I showed you earlier in the video. This is probably, I don't know, four or five days later. But uh, look how much more blooms it has on it. Isn't that something? That is really pretty. Hey, we're going out for another walk today. Trying to get out and exercise, get out of the house. Try not to go stir crazy. We're sheltering in place with some of our friends. And maybe four or five days we're gonna be taking off and headed back to Phoenix to resupply, do a few things and then go north. So the ladies and I are taking the dogs out for a walk. We're gonna go check a few things up of the conditions up here at the dumpsters. We're out of La Posa South, long-term visitors area. They're saying that this area is full to capacity. In fact, they're saying all of them are, which is just a bold-faced lie, because they're not. Um, they just don't want anybody to come back out here is what they want. But anyway, there's plenty of room out here, but it's gonna start to get warm up. Cold front coming through tomorrow, so they're talking about rain and a high of only 60. It's been getting up to about 80 here. And uh, lows, I don't know, in the middle 50s, 60 at night, so it's perfect sleeping weather. Windows are open. Haven't closed the windows in five days. But anyway, going up for some walks. There's the girls. They walk every day also. All right, we're up here at the uh, garbage area. And this is one roll-off here. That's been full for over two weeks. They actually have it blocked off where you can't put any more stuff in it. They used to have two of them here. They took one away. So this one's been full for almost two weeks and they haven't dumped it. And then up here, we couldn't figure out what was going on up here because yesterday there was a big pile where those refrigerators are. And all the other ones were slapped full. So they've been here and dumped these this morning and picked the stuff up on the ground. And I'll show you a pile over here. But uh, I don't understand why they just don't empty these. I know it's getting close to the 15th. Today is, I think, the 7th or 8th. But I, I don't understand their method to their madness here of why they just won't dump this. You see this pile here? This was twice the size of it yesterday. So for whatever reason, they're just not picking up the trash. So they could send a front-end trash truck out here and take care of all this and leave them empty instead of having them out here and then blowing all over the desert. Uh, I don't get it, BLM. Uh, I just don't get it. Somebody's, somebody's not doing what they're supposed to do. Here's one of the rangers. They'll drive around. They'll go out here and check to see if you have any, your tags on, your permits. And they will check. Now, there are no fees right now. They have discontinued all the fees. And this uh, La Posa South LTVA will convert into a 14-day BLM land, pack it in, pack it out, on the 15th. And what they'll do is they will close the uh, dump station and they will shut off all the water and then they will pick up all of the dumpsters. So there will be no more services out here for any of the long-term visiting this area. And they'll lock the bathrooms too if anybody's planning on using that. What'd you say, babe? I said they'll lock the bathrooms too if anybody's planning on using those. That's right. I'm so, not, but... and they do that every year at the 15th of April. Right. That's when the 180 day pass that starts September. Yeah, in the middle of September or something like that. So, it's good for that long. And we've been That's here since months. December, I think. Or January. January. So I think we got our money's worth. 
and it's still too no too cold to go north like i said we're gonna go to phoenix for a week huh and we're actually going to apache junction well phoenix <laughs> metro area we're actually going crazy that's what we're doing yeah we are i've never read so many <laughs> books in my life <laughs> but the cell service is good out here we don't have any problem that we're we're streaming 1080p all the netflix and everything but you can only watch so much TV, read so many books, play so many cards, cook so many meals. <laughs> yep. What you gotta do, what you gotta do. Yep. So, we'll be going soon, soon enough. We'll head north, get up Definitely to Utah, not, Idaho, not complaining. Wyoming, hopefully. Hopefully, in another three weeks, they'll start opening up Yellowstone and the Tetons. If it's warm enough, we'll go that way. If not, can we get to Bryce another way? Yeah, Bryce isn't anywhere. We'll hit Bryce before we do go there. Oh, okay. So a lot of things we want to do, but we'll take That's right. what the good Lord gives us. We want everybody to be safe. And if this is what it takes to do that, then... That's what we have to do. That's it. I just We're hope, all in it together. I just hope it doesn't come back in the fall and, and it starts it all over again. Let's get through the summer first. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll have any issues in the summer with the heat and stuff. Still down here in uh, the Quartzsite general area, Parker, Havasu. Um, there's only been three cases. Two of them had recovered, and another one is recovering at home. Yeah. So that's pretty good. It is good. Yeah. Compared to some of the other places. But Arizona is still doing real good, especially for how many elderly they have down here. But as you can see, everybody's isolating themselves anyway, so I think RVers are probably one of the best shelter-in-place social distance because they like to come out here and just park, kind of be left alone if you want to go walk around and say hi as you walk by and stop and chit-chat. Happens all the time. But anyway, another long walk. American flag still flying high. This is the this is where the water pump is up here. This is where they pump the water. The water stays open down there from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then they shut it down to refill the water tank. So it can catch back up for the day use. So the this water's not a lot, though, the right? water's not on not. 24 hours a day. Remember, you come down here, December, January, February, you need to tilt your panels to get most effectively on your uh, solar because it laying flat, you won't get very much. Right now, with my five panels, I'm bringing in usually 26 amps. With my five 100-watt solar panels, but I was only getting maybe 12 or 13 back in January. So it is a big difference as the sun's moving up. And Deb's a big difference too now that she got her um, lithium batteries. That's right. Big difference. They do a little show. We did a little something different. We got a little solar uh, kit for uh, Deb. She went ahead and purchased that. Got our suitcase, 100 watt panel. We went ahead and ordered two lithium batteries. And it's made a world of difference. Compared to lead so acid, oh, yeah. <laughs> she don't even run the generator anymore, even to charge the lithium, or uh, to uh, just run her coach. Yep. Yeah. Do that. Microwave on 50% power and run the ice maker all day. So that's all good. So it's working out good for her. She's liking the rig. She just filled up with propane the other day. The last day that the RV pit stop was open was fourth. Saturday. Yeah, last Saturday, I don't know, the 4th or 5th, whenever that is, of uh, April. So they're closed down. You can still get propane in town. There's another place that we saw. For $2.30. Yep. We paid for fuel yesterday for diesel on our... Uh, fuel card was a dollar ninety six a gallon. This is good. At the loves, it was regularly two seventy nine, two seventy eight. But uh, hey, that card is magic. That card has saved us a lot of money. And it's going to save us a lot more as we're driving. Yeah, as long as we're at a loves, you know. 
But anyway, I maybe I'd do a little video on that. I've told a few people, and some of them got it, and now they're saving money. So yeah. we're, we're all out here just to help each other. There's your water tank right there. That fills up every day, and there's the well in the pump house. So anyway, this is where the pavement stops, and this is where the dirt road continues on all the way to the mountain. But you can go all the way back there. Tell them about the green rocks. So if you go back there, you don't have yeah. to. Yeah. If you have a low clearance rig on the bottom, there's more than one way to get all through back here on the south side of the road. What you can do is go past the water, past this maintenance building up here, past the dump station, and come up here and turn at what we call the Green Rock. Now there are four or five other areas you can go back farther and cross this wash right out here but some of them are you going to drag airstreams i don't think will have the clearance motorhomes buses mine goes through it deb drug on her class c nope, I did. and uh nothing bad but she drug so if you want to come back over here with big rigs you come down to the green rock we couldn't get Maddie though up that, could we? No, I wouldn't take Maddie no. through there. That's not this other rig that we have is just sitting so high up off the ground. Yep, ours, ours was made for that. Yeah, it's a lot higher. They it's had really a nice. pink rock over there. I don't know where the pink rock went. It, it's gone now. It's gone right there yeah. The I guess somebody took it. Oh, they'll make another one next year. Yep. There's the green rock. Ooh, my lungs are full of crap today. You can probably hear me breathing hard. There's the green rock. You turn right here, go through several washes. You can go off to the left over there, way back over there, or you can go all the way back to the right, almost all the way down to, back down to the main road of 95. Did you show me what the green rock was right there? Yeah, that's a green rock. Oh, okay. Green rock. And we're watching out for snakes. Yeah, I definitely am. Dumping our shoes out in the morning for scorpions. There's going to be the full moon tonight. It'll come up right over there tonight. I'm going to see if we can get that on film. It should come up about 6 o'clock. And it's set over there, I don't know, maybe 4 o'clock this morning or 5. And hopefully, if I wake up enough, which I have been, I'm going to see if I can get it on film. It's called the pink moon. There's some other names for it, but that's what it goes by. So we'll see if we can get that on video. We're going to see if we can do a time lapse on the camera. Yeah, I tried that once. I'm not, <laughs> no, the camera, not the GoPro. <laughs> but anyway, here's our cactus that we were here at one time. A lot of the blooms have gone. There's still a few more. But a lot of them have left. This one's still blooming really good, the bush there. A lot of life out here. A lot of life still. All right, let's pick up the pace, burn some calories. Got to get ready for whatever this summer and spring lets us do. Remember, stop the madness, start the adventure. Some days here, out. <laughs>